evening to everyone gathered here on this platform. This platform provides an overall insight of different courses to the young minds to select the one suitable for them to pave their path of success. Let's begin today's session by invoking the blessings of the omnipresent by reciting the Gayatri Mantra. Varko Devasya Bhimahe No Yona Prachodaya Finding your passion is the key to your success. So we, the Avians, the DAV group of schools, have taken the online initiative with the objective to provide high-quality career guidance to the students to aid them and to cater them in understanding their interests in a potentials, abilities, and skill sets that is important for choosing the right path. On this journey of enlightenment, today we have Dr. R. Vino, Dr. C. Shivaranjani, and Mr. Bala Ganesh, the eminent speakers with us to share their knowledge and vast experience in the field of agriculture and farming. A hearty welcome to all our dear panelists, and I also extend my warm welcome to all the participants and the coordinators. Before I introduce the conference, I would like to inform uh, that the uh, attendees and the participants can type and uh, or post your uh, questions and queries in the QA box and the chat box, and your queries will be answered in the QA session after the presentation. Thank you. So to begin with, let me introduce Dr. Vinod, who holds a master's degree in agriculture and has also completed his PhD in plant breeding and genetics from Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, Coimbatore. Dr. Vinod has secured, sorry, said, uh, he has served various organizations as an executive member in the National Agricultural Education Center. And he is a proud recipient of the most prestigious and top post AIA SA National Award. Krishi Jeevan Jyoti Award in 2018, and he has also received various awards like Best Doctor Thesis Award in 2017 and APJ Abdul Kalam Young Scientist Award in 2016. Currently, Sir is uh, working as a teaching assistant in Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, Trichy. We are really happy to have you here on this platform, Sir. Now over to you for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam. Thank you. Um, a very good evening to all the dignitaries present in this uh, webinar and the students and the uh, future fellows of our India. Uh, today we are going to talk about for the, what are the career opportunities for the agriculture students. Uh, before going for the entering for the agriculture students, I think uh, most of the uh, students now in this group may be joining, uh, maybe they are in plus two or uh, during eighth standard two plus two. As uh, Madam Gayatri, Madam and the principal Madam told uh, from the, our DAV uh, school students and the other participants, maybe uh, during the classes I mean eighth to twelfth maybe is there. What I'm going to say about for these students, how can they choose for the agriculture field, what are the opportunities are there? Means for the education and also for the career, for the job opportunities and higher education, these are the ways. The first one thing, after uh, if those first students are studying for the plus two, they can go for the agriculture. They want to enter for the agriculture field means they want to choose the degree, means a BAC agriculture and allied sectors are there. Means how can we can uh, choose the that course based on the your uh, plus two marks and also for the entrance examinations are there. This is the one way. If the sub suppose the students are eighth standards are there after finishing for the tenth examination board examination, they can choose for the vocational is there vocational stream for the agriculture background. That is one. If they can choose for the during the plus one and plus two as a course for the agriculture they can get for the 5% reservation for the agriculture universities. They can uh, get for the 
and uh, based on it, the 12th mark seat, they will give for the 5% seat reservation for the agriculture students, for the vocational uh, BSc agriculture, and also uh, fisheries and veterinary also, they're getting for the 5% 5 5 seats. Uh, come to for the plus two students. Uh, now those who are, uh, they are uh, going to write for the plus two board exams upcoming for the March. Uh, what are the opportunities are there? Means um, how, how they can first enter the BEC agriculture for the uh, in Tamil Nadu and also for the other uh, universities. In Tamil Nadu, they want to study for BEC agriculture means one is very prestigious universities for that is for the PNAU, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. The next one is for the Annamala universities. This is uh, a faculty of agriculture is there. These two universities based on the your plus two mark cutoff is there. We can go through. Next, deemed university Tamil Nadu. So many deemed university now they are offering for the BSc agriculture as a one of the subject for their universities and also central university. In Tamil Nadu, some central universities are there and apart from some other state also central universities are there. For this central university, we want to study for the BSc agriculture means you want to write for the CUT examinations. Based on the your CUT examination score, you can get for the admission for the, the central universities. And other SAUs, SAUs means state agriculture universities. State agriculture means like for Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, then Kerala Agriculture University is there, then for Orissa Agriculture University, Punjab Agriculture University, like is there. There also we can go for the BS agriculture through ICAR. ICAR means Indian Council of Agriculture Research. This they are conducting for the every year for the examination all India level through NTA. Like uh, most of them you know nowadays for the if you want to study for the MBBS means you want to write for the NEET. If you can pass for the NEET, only NEET examination, then only for, you can get for the MBBS. Like that, same, the NTA, National Testing Agency, they are conducting for the, this ICR examination also. From that, 15% seat reserved for the, all the SEUs, including for the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. In that way also, we can enter. Suppose some students, they're getting for the, some low mark, low cutoff in the plus two. They have one more chance. They can write ICR examination if they will score more score means in that way also they can enter for the BSc agriculture. Uh, this is the after finishing for the plus two, we can choose for the agriculture education, the following universities. And another is for the diploma in agriculture. Some, some students after finishing for the plus two, they can go for the diploma agriculture. They want to means early job means within a after completing for the uh, two years course then they will get for the immediate job opportunities like when base uh, like for if you can go for the uh, engineering means polytechnic colleges are there na? like that in uh, agriculture field also diploma agriculture diploma agriculture diploma agriculture engineering is there we will get we'll discuss later on the, about that next uh, this is the uh, tamil nadu agriculture the prestige tamil nadu agriculture universities uh, what are the courses offering for this Tamil Nadu agriculture means? Next. They are offering for 12 courses. In that, uh, 10 courses for English medium, 2 courses for Tamil medium. Like for the BSc agriculture, most of them, they know for the only BSc agriculture. Apart from the BSc agriculture, BSc horticulture, then BSc forestry, honors, then BSc honors sericulture, then uh, BSc food, nutrition, dietics, then BTEC agriculture engineering. These are the concepts for the science team. Then agriculture technology programs for the bit of food technology, bit of biotechnology, bit of energy and renewable engineering, bit uh, BSc agri, agri business management. These are the courses offering for the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. And other universities like for the Annamala University and uh, for Dame University, they are offering only for the only two courses. That is one is for the BSc agriculture and another one for the BSc horticulture. The courses only. Next. See the career opportunities. Uh, for the BS agriculture means uh, uh, in Tamil Nadu uh, under the uh, TNAU, 18 government colleges are there and uh, 28 affiliated colleges are there. In that, we can choose for the your uh, career. It means the best upon your mark, plus two marks, you can choose. Next. I already told now, in BS agriculture, Next. The next. Uh, these are the some colleges. 
from um, under the control of Tamil Nadu Agriculture Institute, operated colleges, they are offering for the BS agriculture. Like for, we can take government colleges, it's the Agriculture College and Research Institute for the Poimuthur, and for the uh, Agriculture College and Research Institute, Trichy. Likewise, in uh, operated colleges also there, for one hour agriculture college, then uh, Don Bosco Agriculture College, Don Lichmi Agriculture College, CMIT Agriculture College, like that, so many agriculture colleges are there. Uh, uh, please uh, come in previous slides. Previous slides. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I previously told for the uh, means the Tamil Nadu universities and other. So what are the other deemed universities? Tamil Nadu they are offering for the uh, B.Sc agriculture because most of them they don't know what are the universities offering for the B.Sc agriculture. Like when Tamil Nadu, SRM University, Wales University, B VAT, Bharat University, Karunia, Amitta. These are the universities that are offering for the B.S. Agriculture. Next. Still now we have seen for the, uh, after completing for the plus two, means where we can apply for the B.S. Agriculture, undergraduate course. Now, after completing undergraduate B.S. Agriculture, what are the opportunities are there? After completing for uh, my voice is audible. Sir, yes, sir, you are yeah. audible, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Now you are muted, sir. Now you are audible. Sorry for sorry, sorry for the disturbance. No problem. Yeah. After completing for the B.S. Agriculture, you can write for the uh, JRF examination. The JRF means Junior Research Fellow. It's handwriting for the ICR, Indian Council of Agriculture Research. In that way, we can go for the master degree. And also the B.S. Agriculture students, they are going to for the IIT, IAM, Manage. Uh, these are the sectors also, means uh, in, institution also they are going. And also IF studies, uh, GRE, TOEFL, they may, most of them may they know. And uh, if you can go for the job, I mean, what are the job opportunities there for the, after completing for the B.S. Agriculture and Horticulture, Agriculture Officer, it is a group one cadres, like for Deputy Collectors are there, DSP like that, uh, every taluk on Agriculture Officers are there. Then you can directly after completing a B.S.C. Uh, through Tamil Nadu Public Service and uh, Commission Examination, so we can go for the Agriculture Officer, Horticulture Officer, Agriculture Extension Officer, then uh, uh, Assistant Director of Horticulture, Assistant Director of Horticulture, these are the posts are there. Then under so technical officer post also is there for the ICR institutions and uh, some certain sponsor projects also is there. And nowadays, after competing for the BS agriculture, most of them they're going for the banking sector. Uh, what is the uh, role in banking sector for the agriculture? You can most of them think because now uh, most of the farming loans and everything is given for the uh, agriculture one our agriculture graduates. The specialist posts are there. In every bank, you can take for the specialist posts there for veterinary students, veterinary graduates, agriculture graduates. The post is name is for the agriculture field officer. In the basic, it will be for the assistant manager grade. And now, next, for the private jobs, NGOs and marketing sales executive, these are the jobs are there. That's why most of the students after finishing for the plus two, uh, after going um, now MBBS, next MBBS, they, most of them, they want to join for the this agriculture course. These are the reasons. They will get for the wide range of for the job opportunities. And also for uh, national, national level job opportunities for the Food Corporation of India, National Seed Corporation, National Fertilizer System is there. Then finally, Civil Service, UPSC. Nowadays, what is the boost? I means so after completing for the BS agriculture, most of the students want to join agriculture. Everyone want to, after completing a BSc agriculture, they go for the UPC uh, examination coaching. You know, now Tamil Nadu, hmm? Tamil Nadu Chief Secretary, Dr. Irian Bui, is the, our BSc agriculture alumni, Tamil Nadu TNA alumni, and also for the, uh, in uh, our DGP, Dr. Sayendra Babu, is also from the, our TNA alumni, BSc agriculture, and also from the audit general, he is also from BSc agriculture, and you can go for the uh, forest, uh, chief conservator, he is also from our TNA. You can, Tamil Nadu can take many top officers, those who are now in, uh, uh, in Tamil Nadu, all are 
our TNE alumni. After uh, means after competing for the postgraduate, what are the opportunities are there? Means research side we can go for the agricultural research service. Then teaching as assistant professors like us. After competing for the PhD, I may like for the teaching assistant assistant professors. And also for the subject matter specialist opportunities, there is an KVK, QC Vigyan Kendra, research associates. Then for the technical officer post, there is an ICR Institute. NABOD, everyone know more about NABOD. They are giving for the more funds for the development activities. Directly means after finishing for the BS agriculture, you get for the manager post. And plant protection, quarantine officers. After finishing for the BS agriculture and uh, MSA, uh, agriculture entomology and plant pathology, uh, you can get for the quarantine officer. Uh, you know, means every airport is there. Means uh, when you are going to um, export or import any plant material, under the quarantine absence control is there. And then I said is we can go for the upgrades and post that trace. Next. See, these, these are the national research systems is there for the agriculture. One is for the ICR, then for Central Agriculture University, deemed university, SA State Agriculture Universities and KVK. Means here we are getting for the um, lot of opportunities. After finishing for the master degree, if you can uh, get for the um, after completing for the BSc and um, MSc, agriculture scientist, you can go for the scientist. Then for the assistant professor post for the uh, state agriculture university like Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. Scientist and uh, uh, subject matter research for the Kirshi Vigyan Kendras and the technical post for the various uh, agriculture institutes. Next. Uh, and also from the central department's organization, there also uh, Ministry of Agriculture with for the uh, other this, then Nidhi Ayurvedic, then for the Ministry of Environmental and Forest, then Indian Council of Forest Research Education, DRDO, Bark, Baba Atomic Research Center, DBT, Department of Biotechnology, DST, NHB, National Articulture Board, Rubber Board, Tea Board, Spices Board, Copy Board. Uh, then Central Institute of Medical and Aromatic Plants. These are the institutes they are offering for the after finishing for the master in agriculture and oil sectors. Scientist post is their opportunities. Next. Then uh, State Department. Previously I told for the Central State Department in agriculture and oil exports, a rural extension officer, technical extension officer, then agriculture extension officer. I already told for agriculture development officer, seed inspector, food inspector, can officers. You can for sugar can factories are there, there can officer post there. Then assistant agriculture officer, basic level post. These are the posts that are there after completing for the PSA agriculture in government sector. Next. Uh, and the banking sector, I already told now, banking and public and RD sectors, specialized officers are there around for the every year. 3,500 members banking sectors they are offering for the jobs for after competing for the BS agriculture and also recommending through banking IBBS is the examinations is conducting for the nationalized uh, level and except for the NABOD is uh, conducting for the separate examination SB is conducting separate examination but remaining all the nationalized banking conducting for the IBBS through IBBS every year from our Tamil Nadu agriculture universities around 200 to 300 students are there entering for the banking from our Tamil Nadu itself. Uh, direct post for the assistant manager and I already told for the uh, this um, about all those things. Then international organization, international organization for in India, IGRISAT is there, it is an Hyderabad, International Crop Research Institute for the semi arid Tropics, then FAO, then ICARDIA, then IRVI, International Rice Research Institute. There are also a lot of opportunities that there are after competing for the BEC agriculture and also master degrees. Public sector, I already told for the National Seed Corporation, then food corporation of India, Paros, then um, IPO, next, yeah, uh, for agriculture students, after completing for the BS agriculture, first I told how we can enter the BSc uh, agriculture after completing for the um, plus two. Then, after completing for the BSc agriculture, so what are the opportunities are there for the government sector and also for the private sector and banking sector? 
thank you for uh, everyone uh, for listening for your uh, this time uh, is there any questions i can answer regarding for the agriculture thank you so much sir that was a very very fast presentation i am sure our uh, attendees have a lot of doubts requesting attendees to, to please type your questions in the q and a box or type it in the chat box the panelists will take up the questions after the end of the presentation sir vinod sir uh, that was yes, very 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 elaborate sir thank you so much uh, the attendees uh, actually, type the yes sir actually the time is uh, one hour na another two panelists are there I want to Understand, give time sir. to sir. them also. If sir, they uh, please, uh, they can please their uh, presentation. If time permits, I can uh, again. I will uh, say about for the future aspects in agriculture. Wonderful, sir. Yes, with the panelists uh, to type their questions. Requesting panelists again to type your questions in the Q and A or the chat box. Thank you, Doctor Vinod. It was really informative and enriching. Now I call upon uh, Doctor Shivaranjini to take over. she has also completed her phd in agriculture with specialization in soil science madam is also associated with the tamil nadu agricultural university trichy as a lecturer and apart from that she also educates the farmers the self help women group and the rural youth about the organic farming and vermicompost production technology for their social and economic upliftment we are really excited to have you here ma'am the platform is all yours to take over dr shivaranjan Thank you so much, ma'am. Now stay on and all, and I'm so happy today that uh, DV Groups of School gave me wonderful opportunity uh, for the students. Uh, after so long time, uh, I have been traveling with the college students and then with the farmers, and I'm so so happy that uh, now I'm with the uh, school students and uh, who are all the future agriculturists. uh and uh, i am really happy and uh, and this presentation is going to be uh for your uh, eye opening i think so uh, till now uh, after uh, what is that in the weekend also our madam gave this webinar and somebody is coming and teaching uh, okay all the over uh, what is that about uh, six also you are making but i'm so happy that about the uh, So, the children were there uh, to listen uh, this webinar, and we are really, really happy uh, for their uh, wonderful uh, interest towards the webinar. And uh, I'm so happy here that uh, now uh, I will continue with the Vinod sir. Uh, what are all the things he has told, and uh, some of the points what he has left? I am going to give you with the eye opening that every children, not alone the children. Uh, in my my uh, for myself for my, your teachers uh, and uh, who are all our uh, principals madams bona madam and uh, radha madam and all everybody want to enjoy the job i am right or wrong everybody want to enjoy uh, without uh, working hard uh, the satisfaction should be there in doing things and i am really really uh, i mean telling you or uh, challenging you that nowhere you can get the satisfaction apart from the agriculture taking as a career and as a life and that is true children and uh, i'm so happy that uh, apart from your career what you are going to do uh, with the subjects not alone the subject uh, it is going to help you and throughout the life without the agriculture everybody used to say in tamil i think so uh, children here knows tamil very well i think so yes sir um, yes sir without without a single rice or with single grain whether we can survive on this earth yarume a farmer setrala kal vekkama namba sotrala kai vekkave mudiyadu the thing is that the farmers in the field without the farmers in the field we can't have the food that is the reality so apart from your career apart from your earnings apart from the economy everything we need a food and apart from everything we what we will think after coming home a mother should have some food waiting for us to feed that food you are going to do uh, our not alone today the farmers can do this our uh, children can do and uh, so many people uh, especially in uh, chennai uh, the thing everybody is now having kitchen garden home gardens uh, i think so uh, the parents also they are taking up uh, so many initiatives uh, 
uh, about the health so uh, we can uh, say that career opportunities in agri agriculture sector we can say that health opportunities in agriculture sector you can change the thing is that uh, not that i'm going to give you uh, any uh, what uh, so much of information regarding your studies more than that how is the agriculture is going to be the life here after apart from the uh, apart from the studies okay and in the first slide you can see uh, a madam is uh, ma sir sir once again a madam is giving a speech always our children need somebody to show and uh, say that uh, they are the winners and you have to be like that our uh, parents used to tell that you should be like him you should be like her say in the same way i'm giving the example that uh, and uh, a person who is standing before the mic is our uh, vice chancellor of tamil nadu agriculture university uh, till now our uh, vinod sir uh, would have told that indian council of agriculture research in the sense it is a board that central government board especially for agriculture how far the tnau tamil nadu agriculture university is there in tamil nadu each and every state in the tamil nadu they have separate separate universities for agriculture particularly in the case of karnataka and all we they are having five universities likewise all over india the only one first lady she is to get vice chancellor post she is a only lady till now to get the vice chancellor post i think so this made me to get into the first slide apart from that you can think of that motivational and career guidance talk the thing is that our madam is also is on the way to motivate our students to go with the career for towards the agriculture it is not that the studying alone uh, studying agri and doing agriculture nowadays every people from the it they have turned their way towards the agriculture because of corona because of health issues so don't uh, think my dear students that only the economy plays a role our health is only the economy the health should be good then we need to be in agriculture so uh, thank you once again we'll go for next slide sir uh, before going here um, let me go through uh, some of the points that i have noted for you the thing is that everybody wanted uh, when when we study uh, some subject or specialization uh, after 12 completed what you say you should be an engineer you should be in medicine you should be a doctor something else you need uh, a professional thing likewise an agriculture is also a professional course medicine is a professional course engineering is a professional course and agriculture is also a professional course students likewise immediately uh, you can get a job nowhere in the uh, any other uh, uh, streams you can get immediately the job but in the agriculture after completing you can get a job immediately apart from that they, it, it is a four years course you can get a job after completing pg you can get a job after completing phd you can get a job after completing pdf you can get a job so so many things till the end how many years you need to study you can study likewise while studying you can earn while you study you can earn so this is the concept behind the agriculture that is uh, you people are thinking that uh, nowadays you should be in the ac uh, making us so sophisticated uh, i'm not blaming you children my uh, including my parents also made me to be on sophisticated side and i think so dav groups of school also made you so sophisticated uh, that how come the uh, you can think of uh, Uh, what way the agriculture is related to the sophistication yeah it is related to the sophistication sitting in the ac room also you can do agriculture it is not that going into the field and you can do agriculture sitting in the ac room also you can do agriculture now so many robotics so you people are uh, so interested in uh, computer oriented uh, thing the it people the, why the it people turned here it is not alone the work pressure apart from that they know so many mechanization techniques uh, towards the it sector so that changed them to do things in agriculture so easily uh, for the labor uh, reducement okay first thing so you can enjoy your job 
i am damn sure that uh, after immediately after uh, completing your every course ug or pg or phd even with the diploma course that is only the two years course uh, uh students i'm um, uh, true on this concept uh, you can believe me 200 percent the thing is that uh, myself and we know sir were uh, handling classes for uh, diploma agriculture students and uh, my students uh, became uh, uh, agriculture uh, assistant agriculture officer only completed two years in through tnpc exam they got the job after immediately after completing the two years course Till the day, you see, they have got the job by 20 to 21. When they are 21, they got their job. Now, if, till the retirement, the starting salary is of 20,000. When they end, they used to get about 2 lakhs. You think of where we'll go and get 2 lakhs salary? More than this? That is 8 hours work and you are going to have a peaceful work with the farmers. So, with only completing two years, two years course with a diploma in agriculture, horticulture and agriculture engineering. Okay, coming to the next thing. That is, I have told that you can complete BSc, that is UG, PG, PhD, PDF, everything. Everything you can complete in Tamil Nadu itself. What is that, madam? Uh, DAV groups, uh, so many, uh, what to say, that the prestigious institute that my students are uh, want to go for uh, foreign uh, culture studies. Yeah, uh, the thing is that through the uh, collaboration with our Tamil Nadu, apart from Tamil Nadu, so many Tamil Nadu students, especially from uh, Kumulur, a place near uh, uh, Tirchi, that is away from uh, Tirchi, that is 40 kilometers. That is, you can say that uh, Kukgramam, that is a village, so village, so, so small village. From that Kumulur, around 50 people are there in Canada University now. When you go for Canada University, if you go and say you are a student from Kumulu, they will not ask you any questions. You no need of any entrance. Straight away they are giving you with the seat, free seat, with the fellowship. How many years you want to study, you can study. While you are studying, you can earn. So we are having that much prestigious institute all over the foreign that who has a more power of Tamil Nadu students. They need a Tamil Nadu students. Apart from Canada, they, in America, for example, South Dakota and in North Dakota, my seniors are doing second PDF, third PDF, studying there and they are earning and coming to UK. UK also so many universities. You know, you know students, I can challenge that no other subjects, for example, it may be of medicine, it may be of engineering. The thing is that now you can think of in Ukraine, so many students were studying medicine and they came back uh, for Russia also. Uh, so many students were studying for uh, uh, medicines over there. But we are not hearing that agriculture students are going to foreign. But to be on a real side without spending a single paisa from your pocket, that is from uh, our parents' pocket, you can go with the merit mark towards the foreign university. You have good, good opportunities there. So you think of, uh, you can get uh, jobs in Amazon also. It is not that thing. Uh, only the engineering people who are studying in Amurtha or uh, some other Panimalar, likewise in engineering college, who are all studying there, they can get job in Amazon. It is not like that. Our agriculture students also with a package of 1.5 crores per annum, they are getting jobs in Amazon. So students, uh, it is not alone the career, it is a satisfaction for you. Coming to the next one, in the agriculture subject, you know, and now Vinodchar has told you, in Tamil Nadu, who are all in major position? Who are all in major position? They are the TNAU alumni, that is Tamil Nadu Agriculture University students. Likewise, why so they are in the that powerful administrator? Whatever the subjects or whatever the question you are going to ask them, they are ready to answer. The reason behind the getting of UPSC or TNPSC or any central government state government post because in the agriculture subject, you know only the word agriculture, but it has about 56 branches. It has about 56 branches. 
so only you can clear upsc or tnpsc very easily the thing is that in the ug itself you will cover all the 56 subject what is what for example entomology entomology in the sense used to say that puchiel to ray in the sense from the ant butterfly pupa how it comes and apart from that you can uh, go for nematology in the entomology there is a subdivision called nematology nematology in the sense which are inside that is inside the soil some like earthworms like worms will be there so you are studying about that worms and coming to the pathology pathology in the sense likewise medicine you used to say in the skin some rashes and all will be there we will go and uh, ask suggestion to the pathologist likewise in the disease also will uh, there in the plant so we used to identify the pathologist and likewise and myself is a soil scientist the thing is that for about eight years i have studied about the soil what is there to study about the soil without the soil whether the plant can grow yeah madam you have now only told that by sitting in the ac you can grow and without the soil also you can grow now they are more but the soil is going to be the growth media for the plant particularly for tamil nadu we need a soil so how many how many things i mean how many types of soil are there how it will behave for what it will behave for example what is organic farming what is the thing related towards the soil science now you have heard more about the organic farming everybody whether you get organic vegetable organic biscuit organic rice everybody we are thinking about organic likewise agronomy so so many subjects you will be covering next next thing is that environmental pollution control board sir has missed that point that is Envi environmental pollution control board uh, there is a board called environmental pollution control board where there also you can get a job students after completing agriculture after completing environmental science it is not that agriculture alone now nowadays uh, some of the universities and colleges used to have that uh, bsc environmental science okay likewise environmental engineering uh, who are all completed environmental engineering now they are with the solar uh, uh, panel tie up uh, with for example singapore one of my uh, colleague and one of my friend is now doing phd in singapore uh, so you have so many opportunities there and uh, next one uh, the students uh, i don't know whether uh, with that of medicine or engineering uh, all they will go for internship tour that and all but in agriculture you know we'll go for all india tour they will be taking us to all india tour what i have said we in each and every state the universities will be there likewise sir has told so many kvks and research center likewise every state will have central research center for example central research station for banana that is located in trichy uh, then um, uh, in rajmundry it is specially for tobacco like with so many research station also there in every state so in the, during our uh, bsc course uh, not alone in the bsc course in diploma also we used to take our students now only you know sir has completed tour and uh, come back last week only they went for one week whereas for bsc agriculture ug program to students they will be taking for more than 30 days all over the india we will visit all the universities all the research station what are all the works they are doing what uh, what way now so many varieties of vegetables colored fruits colored vegetables and all it's coming you know how it is doing how they are breeding what type of soil over there as agriculture students we want to know so like apart from that studying so many subjects we used to have the exposure all over the uh, india apart from that the exposure to the subject we used to have all the places also and all the temples which are uh, good there and what are the famous places also we can visit there and another thing is that uh, through it is not that alone the topal gre that and all only for the doing mba in the foreign you can go by completing these exams and you can go on the way for agriculture studies also there okay and apart from that in the foreign countries especially in america one who is getting higher higher pay is only the agriculturist likewise who has completed like as phd completed students or msc completed one who go on teachers they are getting the highest pay okay then uh, next to one uh, you know fiji any i think so you can put it in the question session 
if you know uh, fiji there is a country in atlantica that is island you know there is a sugar research institute one institute is there that ceo is our tnau professor he is retired professor uh, dr mahime raja he is a soil scientist and he is a environmentalist and he is a former dean of tamil nadu agriculture university the thing is that why i am saying this and all you see thinking of atlantic island in the fiji one man go on trying and keeping the head position of ceo from tamil nadu agriculture university that is because of agriculture so wherever yeah, from tamil nadu that is agriculture specialist can go on child okay then these are all some of the industries which are related to that is agro industries are given seed industry fertilizer industry pesticide industry machinery and equipment industry the thing is that nowadays labors are getting low so we we need to mechanized so apart from that uh, agriculture engineering there in tamil nadu agriculture university now so many university for example sabita then dhanlakshmi srinivasan they are all having agriculture uh, engineering as a separate courses now uh, in future uh, uh, dav groups again gave us uh, opportunity to have or interact and we will go in brief with those institute uh, where are all where which courses is there okay then uh, fertilizer industry pesticide industries and all uh, without uh, the fertilizer or pesticide nowadays we can't uh, grow crops because the hybrid varieties have came like that so fertilizer industry pesticide industries and all you can get a job that only i have said after com- immediately after completing final year you can get a job in seed industry fertilizer industry pesticide industry ma'am what is that agriculture seed industry you can get uh, Yeah, fertilizer industry you can get pesticide industries you can get you are saying that so only i have told you can cover 56 subject seed science you will be studying soil science soil fertility you will be studying pesticide especially for entomology if some insect is attacking what type of pesticide you have to give to get rid of that also you will be studying machinery and equipment industry you will be studying agriculture engineering also a subject in the bsc honor agriculture course sir next slide sir ma'am i am taking time Ma'am, I'm taking time. Ma'am, please continue, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please continue, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. And these are all. These are all some of the uh, top uh, ten in. I mean, agri-based industries. Uh, like uh, what to say? Uh, like Amazon or Tesla. Uh, some other things in engineering, likewise, which are all there in our uh, India and Tamil Nadu. These are the some of the companies which are related to. what i told that uh, seed industry fertilizer industry and pesticide industry and you can get a good package of salary also the thing is that why i have given is our motto after uh, studying uh, college we need to go for a job and we need to get more amount of money so these many industries are there to get you with a good salary packages ma'am next slide ma'am okay coming to food and beverage industries so beverage industries Uh, how come ma'am the beverage industries uh, will have the agriculture uh, based the thing is that every beverages without the agriculture products the beverages will not be come then food products what are all there in for example reliance market or jio market or everywhere without the agriculture products any supermarket is there no so in the supermarket for example as far and all you would have uh, gone in Coimbatore and Madras and all uh, in, in mall it will be there so they, they used to have around 10 to 20 peoples of agriculturist for rating the quality of the products for selecting the products so quality check okay then coming to dairy industry dairy industry and all again uh, the thing we need to be proud that again india ranks uh, till now first in the milk production today you know uh, and nowadays everybody uh, knows that the jelly cut mad and all you know i think so students all know likewise we used to say we, we are going for a traditional way of uh, having food traditional way of doing things likewise traditional cow uh, also so many cows are there you know one liter per liter of milk they are getting for more than 200 rupees now who are all affordable per liter of milk that is with the correct s and f fat with the calcium rich everything 
one liter milk they are getting for 200 rupees and for your information ma'am in kanjipuram there are so many cow farms from that cow farms there are about 1000 liters of milk from kanjipuram to madras every day morning around 3 to 4 it is coming and every liter milk is 200 rupees and our people are having that so you think of how far uh, we have things and what is mean by processing uh, the processing is nothing but the food processing industries that is a value added things with the things then hotel industry automatically you know uh, for a hotel industry especially food selection should be there the quality has to be maintained then organic foods like we need to check whether it is organic or not and coming to the landscaping gardening tea gardening the thing is that the first itself i have told every parents is nowadays they are uh, making children also to go with the garden that is a good habit i think so about the 60 students are there uh, please students at least from today you take today we can leave tomorrow you ask your parents to get at least one plant it is not that alone you need to keep uh, uh, outside your home or uh, i think so so many will be there and um, uh what uh, uh, flats and all you don't have places manam irundal margam undu adnala velila da vachi valakano ne vidhi no need in the indoor itself you can keep and what is the what is the thing of indoor gardening or indoor planting i will tell in the back side and degree of degree in agriculture and allied science only the everything what are the industries i have told what is that allied science allied science is nothing but the horticulture that is in the horticulture you know how many subdivision is there valariculture valariculture in the sense studying about vegetables what is pomology studying about food science these are in separate separate department till the phd or pdf you can do with the specialization of vegetables fruits then spices then medicinal plant you think of how many subjects are there in agriculture agriculture is not alone a single subject sir, sir we can go for next slide sir okay coming to non government organization ngos i think so madam knows uh, very well that so many ngos that are there in uh, madras itself uh, who are all there behind the farmers and the rural development these are all some of the that is center for collective development uh, this is one of the ngo that is uh, there in uh, chennai and then andhra pradesh they are towards the farmer uh, welfare and development and center for indigenous knowledge system again uh, the cikas is uh, one of the uh, nice ngo that who used to have the uh, and develop the traditional rice varieties they are having more than 500 traditional rice varieties that traditional rice varieties each traditional rice varieties has each medicinal properties with the medicinal properties uh, varieties rice they distribute the seed to the farmers apart from that they are getting the rice back and they are making it as a value added products for example our students needs noodles our students needs pasta <laughs> that you know that uh, kerala rice uh, that is bold seeded rice we will not eat our students nowadays is not taking but it is made into pasta then made into noodles we used to take so these ngos are uh, making um the women by giving the opportunity to make this value added products so so many non governmental organization it is not that children you if you are having interest you can also have the non governmental organization and helping towards the farmers from the farmers you can get the product and you can get the selling by adding value added through the uh, self help groups these are the some of the social service towards the children also and coming to the small scale industries as i told food value added items we can make value added items to small scale industries having the women's rural development for example all people will know that um, shakti masala ad kurai ondrum illai marai murti kanna the song will be played in the all channels okay with that people also the value added products are made and they are sold in the market the thing is that uh, how far our students should be thinking towards the humanity also and coming to the cattle waste added items as i told dairy industry one of the good industry in kanjipuram itself the waste product that is from the cow especially the cow dung they used to make 
what to say that for puja items we used to have no uh, sambarani uh, then what are all the things we used we need to smoke so that um, in friday tuesday and all our uh, mother used to have no from that and all that also should be of organic that is from the cattle waste they are making so so many opportunities are there from a single single point ma'am next one next next slide sorry for taking sorry for taking more time ma'am and coming here what is that agri clinic likewise uh, every street of uh, now every uh, villages or every towns they used to have hospitals likewise the agri clinic also in future it will be coming because uh, who are all completed in agriculture horticulture agriculture engineering who are all from agriculture background they have the capacity and they they are capable for having the agri clinic how for the doctors uh, Uh, treating us likewise the students after completing agriculture you can also be a doctor to treat the plant and the soil and coming to the technology transfer the thing is that from the farmer how uh, it has to be taken towards the uh, uh, i mean private sector or public sector or towards the ngo and by students studying agriculture they need to uh, get more knowledge how easily the job can be made uh without the uh, more involvement of uh, employment uh, because uh, so many uh, problems uh, in agriculture today they are faced is only the labor problem how it has to be made likewise small small technology with the technology how the farmers can earn more money we need to study and we need to produce that was ngo also helping so many things uh, so that only madam when you are giving uh, introduction madam told me that Uh, I'm uh, one of the vermi compost. Uh, giving uh, it is vermi compost. All you know, I think so. That is manipulum. But the earthworm based, we are making the uh, product. It is two to worthy product. Until now, I have given uh, about seven hundred farmers this training how to make, and uh, they are they are using it to their feed, and also they are earning more money out of that. So, if I get uh, more chance, I can tell that technology to you that you can make with the waste what you are getting in your home. It is not alone that in agriculture field you can get. Ma'am, next slide. Next slide, ma'am. okay i told you no indoor gardening indoor gardening by doing indoor gardening especially in dubai and qatar and all you are going to get more than a, more than 2 lakh salary per month uh, to be real and to be true uh, my one of my friend who has completed bsc agriculture with me they are doing indoor gardening uh, only with it companies and companies over there and houses over there in uh, uh, dubai and qatar uh, for this only the diploma is more than enough that to in anamalai they used to have this uh, course i think so uh for six month course it is one of the six month course it is not alone that you can go on study you can go through with the online classes also it is going on uh now after corona they have stopped i think so uh we will inquire again whether uh, if we get chances uh so many it is not alone the students ma'am we can also have the class over there ma'am next slide ma'am okay this is protected cultivation as i told you no you can sit inside the ac room and you can do the cultivation and this is the structure one of the structure that everything is controlled everything is controlled that when it has to spray and when we need to take it will give alarm which is full up with the sensor and full up with the robotics and without the soil also you can do like aerobics and hydroponics hydroponics in the sense they keeping the base material as a water you can grow more plants so with the students innovative thinking the agriculture gives you so much of places and that too in the uh, israel you can go on google students in the israel no there is no water at all but in the israel they are growing they are doing agriculture in the enormous way and they are getting so much of income over agriculture especially in israel more than the india because they are having the technology to know how to save the water and how to minimize use of water for having more amount of produce or product from the agriculture um next slide ma'am okay and uh, these are all some of the things that how for the entrance examination entrance examination specially for uh, 
taking a phd that is indian agriculture research institute iara it is in delhi ndri uh, and it is towards the dairy research institute fishery institute, institute and veterinary research institute and icr senior research fellow for getting a seat you need to write again the srf examination then banaras hindustan university and anu and all saus used to have separate exam entrance examination apart from that icr examination also ma'am next one and uh, this is the advertisement this is used to come in uh, papers in tamil paper english paper every newspaper it is used to come so students you kindly i think so uh, you may be of mouth wealth uh, you kindly go through the newspapers every day for the agriculture news apart from that the entrance examinations also will be coming nowadays the entrance examination is uh, uh, i mean linked with the scientist uh, a uh, post examination also for your information when you are getting when you are getting through the phd then automatically you can be the scientist to be exam now uh, from sericulture board they have given the notification likewise this is the first time so while studying itself getting passing through the entrance examination you can be the scientist in agriculture ma'am next slide okay uh, at last i think so i have taken so much of time uh sorry ma'am and uh, still more if you are going to give us opportunity and we are uh, giving us best na romba chikra chikra poiten nanikira so students to be uh, very proud to be an agriculturist not alone for your uh, economy or your job or everything for your satisfaction and for your health and for your health of the family you should be the agriculturist on any occasion any doubt towards the agriculture and we are very happy to help you and i am also very eager for the balaganester presentation uh, for the natural farming concept after so so long time uh, from uh, people from ca towards the agriculture thank you so much ma'am thank you so much thank you ma'am excellent thank you thank you, thank you so much ma'am i have taken so much of time that's okay ma'am <laughs> Absolutely fine, ma'am. I we could understand, yeah, we could understand your passion, ma'am. To thank you, exactly. thank you. To grow thank a garden so is to believe in tomorrow. That's what they say. To to grow exactly. a garden is to believe yes. in tomorrow. And uh, yes, we could uh, sense the uh, utter commitment and passion you have towards agriculture, ma'am. Really motivational to see how pro proud you are to be an agriculturist. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to have been a panelist for us. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, Shivaranjini. As you said, it was really an eye opener, enlightening, really. Uh, now let thank me you. invite Mr. Bala Ganesh to proceed with the presentation. Mr. Bala Ganesh, after serving the corporates across the globe uh, for over two decades, has now become a full-time farmer. That's really interesting, sir. So, Mr. Bala Ganesh has completed his bachelor's degree in farming technology and is now working with Ari Samaj as an efficient consultant in natural farming. So, we are eager to listen to you, sir, Mr. Bala Ganesh. Namaste to all. Uh, thank you to Dr. Shivaranjani ji and Dr. Vinod ji for the extensive eye-opening avenues that are available to the students that are aspiring to look forward to take agriculture as a career in a corporate uh, world or even as students we would have seen in mathematics there is a chapter called trend analysis a trend analysis as the as the tag says what is happening what has happened in the past will set the trend for the future now if we look in the last decade or uh, decade and a half or so we would have observed there are many talks many things going around the topic agriculture it is becoming slowly a buzzword buzzword for somebody to jump into that and to ride on and to make a future out of it and that is why in today in this session we are talking about the the thing called agriculture as a career that we can look at if we if i remember in my younger days and even today i think this analogy could be valid when 
a boy of six or seven year old chooses to read Vedam by getting into Gurukulam will be seen a bit differently. Some parents would think, oh, what would be his future? What would be his marriage? Will somebody give girl to this boy? All those questions will come. If I take that analogy to the decision that we will make, or some of us are ready to make, or already made, that I will be an agriculturist. We will also get into some kind of a question like this, by our own selves first, by our parents, by our relatives, by our friends, all of us would be asking the same question. Are you sure you want to take this as a career? Are you sure there are many earning opportunities? Are you sure you will get into a job and all? So I think to those questions, the two panelists that have talked about before me, they have nailed these points enough in terms of explaining as education opportunities, what do you have to become an agriculturist? Now, my approach, I would want to place it a bit differently. If we remember, sometimes those who are adults here who are here as uh, participants or those who are there, Indian Army used to post an ad some time back. I don't know if they do that even today. The very bold letter, it's a very small ad that comes in. The very bold letter in that ad in recruiting army men, that, that caption says, do you have it in you? That's the question they ask you. Do you have it in you? That's the same question that I would like to ask somebody who would want to be an agriculturist. And to be precise, I would want to ask that question to those who want to be a farmer. I'm not going to talk about the subjects, the courses, the job opportunities that are available for somebody who would want to be an agriculturist. I want to place here an appeal that these young minds, those who are just getting into the, the teens or you know, looking at their future, can I, become an, can I become a farmer? Can I become a farmer? Is a question that I want to ask them to ask themselves. That's my uh, request today or an appeal, I would say. So basically you can split the entire thing into two things, a farmer and allied service that is assisting the farmer. Am I going to be a farmer or am I going to be somebody assisting the farmer? That's a two things, those are the two things that clearly decides which course I want to study, what are the universities I want to go into, if I want to become an allied service provider to a farmer or an agency that is supporting farming, etc. If I want to be a farmer, I rather say you don't need anything, just start now. If you have a piece of a land or even if you don't have a piece of a land, just go into somebody who is doing farming, get into that land, be an assistant, like very similar to how a Gurukulam runs, how a Veda Patashala runs. Be a farmer. Just get into a farm, assist someone, get, learn all those techniques, be practically knowledge and do farming. So the appeal here is, I go back to the same point, be a farmer. Choose to be a farmer. That's it. That's all you need to uh, take a call today if you want to be a farmer. I mean, I don't want to mince words to say you can do all those support services, you can do that, you can study. Yes. So like I said the preamble earlier, you will get into those questions by uh, people around you. Are you sure you want to do this, you want to do that and all? The courage of conviction and the clarity of purpose should guide you. And therefore, choose to be a farmer. That's the appeal I want to do. If you have 
certain doubts in mind whether i will be success, successful or not why don't i you know study for some time and then take this bombing yes so the two panelists have already given enough inputs about what you can do if you want to do that way you can do that you can get into the education mode learn something and still become a farmer also very similar to how i did honestly when i was doing my ca or when i was in the corporate i never had the planning or an, or anything to do with farming or any of those sorts but i eventually landed up in the space and I'm, i'm a happy person now so you can do that also as a hybrid approach before becoming a full time farmer i would want to study farming agriculture etc maybe do something around it maybe earn some money or all those stuff that's all about planning so to come back to the same thing you have chosen the line as agriculture within those within the chosen idea of agriculture you have two broad avenues farmer or a person supporting farmer so choose which one you want to be and accordingly the options are wide open so with that note i wrap up my uh, whatever i want to convey the appeal remains choose to be a farmer and answer yourself do you have it in you and if the answer is yes just go ahead thank you thank you sir uh, your talk was really captivating encouraging and motivating yeah uh, thank you counselors for your wonderful uh, presentation and now let's move on to the qa session i request our uh, hm ma'am to take it. for the questions ma'am sorry ma'am there are some couple of questions in the qa uh, this is uh, yes. Uh, I think that it yeah, yeah. no G also, sir. Uh, yes. Difference between Annamala University yes, and TN uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, please. Uh, yes, madam. Actually, I read the question. Uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University for the SAU State Agricultural University. Annamala is for the Common University. In that, one of the faculty is their agriculture. If you can go for uh, in future for uh, further for higher higher education for that, if you studying for the ACA students good for Annamalai University also good when compared to for the Annamalai University TR is the best because the TR is the for the hundred years old university from the all over the world the students are from the students from the TNU they are doing for the job and the scientists and professors like that is there uh, that that's why I am saying for the TR is the best if you can't get the TNU you can go for the next option for the Annamalai University. that is the difference uh, not uh, for any job opportunity you get for both but the, the standard is there na uh, in uh, some uh, dav schools there uh, some local uh, schools are there <laughs> like that yes, sir uh, sir getting into tamil nadu agricultural university is uh, as equivalent to getting into a uh, government medical college sir it's as competitive yes, yes, to us that it's very competitive yes, yes, isn't it sir yes uh, the, the difference also if you, uh, the persons they are not getting for the tnu ultimately they are going for anamali Okay. The first, most of the people that choices for the TNA. Yes, sir. I know some people, uh, some children who gave up their medical college seat to join because they got uh, agriculture university, sir. Uh, there are uh, situations like that, that rare situations where children have opted to go into agriculture. True, ma'am. True. It is true. Uh, because of this opportunity towards the UPSC exam, everybody is choosing. a uh, leaning of medicine and coming to agriculture ma'am especially after that is covid true. yes ma'am especially yes. after covid they have realized that uh, the field of medicine you no know, being a doctor can be very kind of you know uh, not very secure job because uh, we saw so many changes happening to the uh, the whole view of the career so yes ma'am now going back to going back to nature going back to earth is what people are talking about and i think we are at the right time having the right kind of webinar today So yeah ma'am absolutely absolutely it is a right time for our students to get eye open towards the agriculture sector ma'am it is true yes. the thing is that particularly nowadays after as you said after covid no there are so many students from uh, madras towards agriculture to tnau so many admissions we had 
from Madras. The thing is that from their KG till up to 18, they didn't see even a field, whether the rice will be of plant or a tree. They don't know what it is. But they are turning towards the agriculture study. That is good, ma'am, actually. True, sir. True, ma'am. Actually, during COVID, we had an opportunity in schools because schools were closed. Schools were locked. 2020, yes, yes, March 20, when we uh, <laughs> closed, 23, when we closed the schools, but uh, some of us reported to school. So we took the opportunity to use the playgrounds to uh, do natural farming. We just tried. You wouldn't believe it, ma'am. There was a situation where we had the radish, which was, we sowed the seeds and we got radish. Children, when they came back to school, they didn't realize it, it grows under the ground. Oh, it was so <laughs> shocking because most of the children get go to the market and buy it. They had no clue. They were like, yeah, yeah. really, they pull it out like this. So it was uh, shocking to us that they were so ignorant. Children of class yeah. 8. So we got a chance to try natural farming. I'll tell you, just one of the most difficult things to do. The pests, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the plants, would walk, we would watch the plants every day. We sowed so many uh, seeds. But then uh, the yield was not as we expected it to be. But then we do we did understand there's a lot of science involved in natural farming. Lot of science. Ma as, I, as I told, there are so many 56 subjects, like 56 doctors should treat the plant to I get know, a good yeah. yield. I know. I how, know far, how far? How far ENT is... doctor? How far ENT doctor? Cardiologist, gynecologist, obstetrician. Likewise, so many doctors should be there for the plant from each and everything. True, ma'am. True, ma'am. There's other question also, you, sir. This is also directed to Sri Vinoji. I think how do we get these jobs after graduation? Please answer, sir. Ma'am also can take it up. Sri Vinoji, ma'am also can take it up. They're asking about yes, after graduation, what? How do we get these jobs? Ma'am, how far the engineering people through the campus interview they are getting? Likewise, so many good companies they are coming towards especially Tamil Nadu Agriculture University colleges, that is Constituent Colleges, they are coming there and directly they are recruiting on the final year. Apart from that, when you are coming out, today so many social medias, they are giving so many advertisements that they need a well-equipped, well-knowledged, well-skilled persons uh, for their company. For uh, As I given in the uh, PPT, ma'am, as a scientist, as a research people for doing things, as a market uh, marketing managers, a marketing trainee, and trainers to the farmers, like with so many, for uh, having entering into the seed industry, you can uh, have uh, seven to eight jobs for a single candidate, according to your interest, according to your satisfaction. Which way, if you are going to work, you will be satisfied. Likewise, there are so many opportunities. Especially through the interview, direct interview they are getting. Huh? And apart from that, uh, through the examinations, they can uh, get through. For example, as I told, Environmental Pollution Control Board and coming to the forestry and UPSC and TNPSC, uh, that is Agriculture Extension Officers and Agriculture Assistant Officers, that and all, uh, they can clear through the exams, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. There's another question, sir. This is for Vinod, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are they in contact with other uh, countries' agricultural department? Are there any uh, links? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Actually, in our uh, uh, not you can say for the Indian Agriculture Department, it is the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. They are having for the lot of uh, MOU for with the other uh, uh, countries uh, for agriculture department, like for the USDA. For the United States of Agriculture Department, they are having for the MOU with for the our Indian Agriculture, uh, for the ICR and the uh, Minister of Agriculture. Likewise, there lot of there they are sending the students with their MOUs only for the Minister of Agriculture only from uh, India, uh, Russia uh, MOU for the agriculture students, India, Canada. Then like that, a uh, lot of uh, opportunities are there. Students they want to move for uh, masters and also from. Uh, nowadays, in uh, doing undergraduates also, dual degree programs also offering for the Tamil Nadu University. Uh, in that, uh, they can study for the one degree from Tamil Nadu University and another degree is also from the Cornell Universities and for the uh, um, uh, Oxford Universities. Like that, a uh, lot of universities are offering for the dual degrees they, with the MOF for Indian uh, Agriculture Department and uh, Foreign Agriculture Department. Uh, uh, two years, they can study for a year. And the third years they will go study for the abroad. Then fourth year they will come back here. Like it is there. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, this is for you, Shivaranjini. Ma'am, if you have studied uh, agriculture, could we definitely crack UPSC exam? Yeah, ma'am. Sure. Sure, you can crack. The thing is that in the main paper, usually uh, the agriculture alone, the four-year course I have, as I told, no, 56 subjects they can cover. With that itself, they can cover the extension, economics, subjects and all, yeah. which, are all uh, which are all helpful for the general paper also. So, so many related papers will Actually. be there and related subjects will be there. Anna, Anna, Solinga, Anna. So to you, Anna, Solinga. No, 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 nothing. Actually, uh, uh, what is madam asking, uh, really, what is the option is there in agriculture, we are studying all the courses. Means we are studying for the engineering, we are studying for the veterinary, we are studying for the economics, we are studying for the sociology, we are studying for the you know, mathematics, statistics, all the courses. That's why in agriculture is the broad subjects. It's covering for all aspects. And then uh, for preparing for the civil service, for the general GK, it's very easy for us compared to for other subjects. That's why most of the people are playing for the uh, for agriculture graduates for the civil service exams. Recently for our Tamil Nadu topper is from the TNU alumni for the Isoria. And likewise, more people are clearing. If you're dedicated really, Definitely, uh, they will clear within uh, after competing for the BAC agriculture within two three years. Sure. Sure. Thank you so much. In the, all the degrees are really uh, uh, they are clearing, but the chances are more. Yes, you are. My friend, my friends uh, who Hello. are all from my classmates, they have cleared. Five people have cleared. Uh, IAS two people, then IFS two people. And uh, one girl is IPS. Who are all my friends? Great, so they great. have they within within two years they have cracked because of Thanks. taking the agriculture as a main subject. Makes sense. Uh, we do now able to connect the dots and understand that agriculture is the point where every subject meets. And so yeah, yeah. taking taking up ag agriculture could uh, help people crack students crack the UPSC also. This is a revelation kind of I think for uh, all of us today. And we really got to know about it. And we am sure to inform other students who have not joined today. This particular webinar also will be put up in the uh, YouTube link, ma'am. And that can also be shared. So I think it's great. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank and you. And one so more much. thing, madam. Yes, sir. Uh, madam, no, some students ask regarding for the CUAT examination. Yes, I think yes, uh, first, I think one question. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, it is in the Central University's entrance examination test. It's conducted for the common central all the central universities all over the india in that we can um, take any courses based upon your mark they will call for the application each university is you, you want to apply after completing uh, first you want to uh, the examination will be for the july and august month after the examination they'll announce for the result based on the result you want to apply for the separate each universities suppose in uh, tamil nadu uh, 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 common entrance examination Based upon your score, you want to apply. Sir, is it, is it based upon your subject. Understand, is it possible like it's like the JE mains where you get the score, but you based on your score, you can get any uh, placement uh, admission in any NIT in India. Is it like that, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like this only. Like this only. Like this only. We can get for the based, any based central on university. Merit, yeah. In Tamil, in Tamil Nadu, two universities are there. One is, one is uh, Gandhi Gramam Rural University is there. There, they are offering for the PSC Agriculture in Dindical, Gandhi Gram Rural University, Dindical. They are offering for the BS Agriculture. They are taking the students based on the COT marks. Right, sir. Got, got it, sir. Got it, sir. Thank you, sir. I think we have covered all the questions, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All questions. Sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, panelists, for your responses. Now, I request our headmistress, Mrs. Abona uh, Gopalan to render a vote of thanks and to give a teaser introduction of the upcoming webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Kanchana, ma'am. On behalf Thank of uh, the AV family, it's my proud privilege to render the vote of thanks for today. Uh, let me thank uh, first the Almighty, who has given us an opportunity to meet. One meeting with the three panelists, it was really an awesome session, I, I should say. Thanks to the Almighty and um, thanks to Principal the members of the management who are with us and the panelists, of course, you took the session in a totally into a different way and it was so much of learning. Me as a person, I learned a lot. 
and i'm sure all the attendees and all the first would have got a real insight into the field of agriculture choosing career uh, no uh, agriculture as a career is a real challenging task i should say like can i should be the thing and i will should be the next uh, answer that you should uh, get it in your mind that way so it was great sir vinod ji um, thank you so much vinod ji it, uh, you spoke to us on the systematic journey to the career of agriculture and uh, that uh, mentioning the benefits and the list of universities the voluminous list that you gave um, thank you so much sir and uh, thanks for the, um, the excellent powerpoint that was the list of list by um, you had given a good list of uh, universities and uh, job opportunities excellent thank you so much and i'm sure this will really guide our children uh, to take up agriculture as a career and a big thanks to shivranjini ma'am thank you thank you uh, I, i i enjoyed the positive drive and the attitude with which you spoke ma'am and a special mention that you gave about the vice chancellor and that was a true inspiration ma'am agriculture can reach any uh, any portion anywhere in the world agriculture is there is what you kept reiterating uh, time and again and uh, you motivated children to take up agriculture uh, more so um, uh, mentioning about the all, all india tours and the kind of uh, opportunities they have abroad no doing uh, uh, the the higher uh, Uh, education that the motivation that you gave them for you know, to children regarding the higher education abroad and the link that you have with other countries and the compensatory packages that you said that was really awesome actually we look up at that only uh, at the end of the day what am i when i move out uh, uh, is what parents think and also as a child the child will definitely think so that package that you said compensation package it is really very good ma'am and the agro so industries that are hand in hand In, in line with agriculture and the technology involved it was really a good presentation ma'am thank you so much for all thank the inspirational so words and uh, the detailed description on uh, your powerpoint and the last thank but you, not the least uh, dr shri balaganesh ji you 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 it was an icing on top i should say sir uh, uh, nevertheless the, the other two panelists prepared us into how to go about doing this and you really made a mark can i become a farmer really sir, you gave a real good appeal sir and i think as a person as at this age i should start thinking of taking it up as not as a profession but i should do something in a small way at least i should get an interest to do some to, to doing uh, something like this thank you so much and your hybrid approach that you were mentioning about farming and uh, the career that you have already chosen as what you have done is awesome sir thank you so much for all the insight thanks to all the panelists thanks to all the co coordinate teachers who were a part of getting the session ahead and uh, thank you ashwin ji for your uh, for your patient uh, uh, no journey with us thank you and uh, helping us in sharing the powerpoints thank you students and thank you parents and all others who joined this thank you so much thank you thanks thank for you. the opportunity thank you ma'am thank Namaste. you thank you bonus madam and radha kumar madam gayatri madam Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so much.